my dear children last class we completed the second part of the lesson right there we saw the author was reading the letter that he got from the roll top desk now we know the characters uh, called jim macpherson connie macpherson hans ulf etc okay so we'll see the third part of the lesson see i folded the letter again and slipped it carefully back into its envelope i kept awake all night i couldn't sleep by morning i knew what i had to do i drove into bridpo just a few miles away i asked a boy walking his dog where copper beaches was house number 12 turned out to be nothing but a burned out shell the roof gaping the windows boarded up a turned out means became house number 12 became nothing but a burned out shell burned out means destroyed by fire roof gaping gaping means wide open windows boarded up boarded up means covered with wooden boards I knocked at the house next door and asked if anyone knew the whereabouts of a Macpherson. Oh yes, said the old man in his slippers. He knew her well. A lovely old lady, he told me. A bit muddle-headed. Muddle-headed means confused. Uh, but at her age, she was entitled to be, wasn't she? Entitled here means had the right. She had the right to be. Uh, muddle headed muddle headed means confused of ideas because she was 101 years old she had been in the house when it caught fire no one really knew how the fire had started but it could well have been candles she used candles rather than electricity because she always thought electricity was too expensive the fireman had got her out just in time She was in a nursing home now, he told me. Burlington House on the Dorchester Road on the other side of town. See the explanation. Having read the letter, the author put it back in the envelope. He decided to give the letter back to whom it belonged. The address was of Bridport, Dorset. So he drove to that place and there he saw the house number 12 turned out to be a burnt out shell. Burnt out I told you, destroyed by fire. The neighbor said Mrs. Macpherson was in the house when it caught fire. The fireman had got her out just in time. That means the fireman saved her life in time. She was 101 years old, a bit muddle-headed, uh, that means a bit confused. And she used candles rather than electricity. Maybe because of that, the house caught fire. Understand? Now, she was in a nursing home. Understand? When the author went to Britpo to meet Connie Macpherson, he came to know that she was in a nursing home because her house caught fire. Understand? Okay, now you see the questions. First question, why did the author go to Britpo? You have to answer. Answer is, the author went to Britpo in search of Mrs. Jim Macpherson or you can write Connie Macpherson. He wanted to give her back her important letter. Understand? So the author went to Britpo in search of Mrs. Jim Macpherson or Connie, Jim, Connie Macpherson uh, because he wanted to give her back her important letter. Second question. How old was Mrs. Macpherson now? Everybody knows. Where was she? Answer. Mrs. Macpherson was 101 years old now. She was in a nursing home. She was in a nursing home. Some more questions will be given. You are supposed to write it. 
see an extract is given uh, from this paragraph you are supposed to read it and do the question answers given and write it on the back page, back page of your notebook the previous question answers also okay paragraph extract I folded the letter again and slipped it carefully back into its envelope I kept awake all night by morning I knew what I had to do I drove into Bridport just a few miles away I asked a boy walking his dog where copper beaches was question based on this who had written the letter you will be getting questions like this for exam okay first question based on this extract is who had written the letter obviously the answer is jim had written the letter jim had written the letter okay second question whom was the letter addressed to the letter was addressed to jim's wife connie mcpherson okay the letter was addressed to connie mcpherson jim's wife third question why did he drive to Britpo. He drove to Britpo because he wanted to give that letter to Connie. Fourth question: Why did he keep awake all night? He kept awake all night thinking about the contents of the letter he had read. Why he kept awake? He kept awake all night thinking about the contents of the letter he had. Read. You are supposed to write all these questions and answers on the back page of your notebook. The previous questions also, previous questions also should be done on the back page of your notebook. Checking will be done in a live class. You have to show me the book. Okay. Thank you.